America, but right now we need to show you a chase that is underway. The car that you see speeding is on I-95 southbound. We know it's going through oh, Hollywood, wow. and it just... Wow. Wow. Just a terrifying crash. I-95 southbound, that car that is upside down, was fleeing from police who have now... Mm. ended that crash. You can see an officer out of his vehicle. Now several officers out of their vehicles with their guns drawn. You can see a suspect it appears to be crawling out of the back windshield of that vehicle. We don't know if anybody else is in there. But that person is now in custody. Again, this is Hollywood I-95 southbound. Now there's another person they are taking into custody. You see police moving in, detaining both of those suspects that were in that speeding car. We had been watching it for you and just broke into Good Morning America to bring it to you live. That vehicle going at a high rate of speed on I-95 southbound through the Hollywood area. And it looked like the driver was trying to make a move to exit in Hollywood. Um, we'll let you know exactly which exit that is as soon as we can see it. And then you saw all the police officers move in and detain both suspects as soon as that car flipped and they tried to call, crawl out of the back of the vehicle. We understand that the exit that that driver was trying to get off of was on Sterling Road, that I-95 exit, Sterling Road there in Broward County. So making their way through Broward County and certainly heading towards Miami-Dade County. We are a few miles north of the Golden Glades there, and you can see that they have taken someone else away from that vehicle. But that is one of the suspects that police have pulled out of that vehicle. What a violent and terrifying crash that was. And that driver was speeding, flying in and out of lanes, had crossed in and out of the express lanes as well. We saw some of those pylons there uh, marking off the express lanes, running into the road as the driver ran them over. But thankfully this is over because that was a very scary scene we're, heading down 95. And we're pulling out, you saw just a second, oh, there's another suspect being pulled out of the vehicle right now. A third suspect being pulled out of that vehicle. Police are still searching the vehicle to see if there's anybody else inside. All of your southbound lanes of I-95 are blocked, shut down, and closed. I know we'll have a Lexus here in a minute, but I-95 southbound is not an option for any of our early morning drivers. A, f a fourth suspect has been pulled out of the vehicle right now. Police are checking to see if there are any others. You're seeing all of this happening live, courtesy of Sky 10. Four suspects have been pulled out of that speeding car. I-95 wow. northbound is uh, is going very slow as well as you can imagine. And these are going to the southbound lanes, so there are going to be some significant traffic delays here on I-95 northbound, anywhere north of Sterling Road. Uh, that's the exit the driver was trying to get out of. And we have, again, four suspects now being taken into custody. Uh, looked like one or two of them were able to get out of the vehicle uh, on their own immediately. The other two were pulled out by law enforcement. You see Fort Lauderdale police is there. You see Florida Highway Patrol, state troopers. They are there as well. That uh, chase involving multiple agencies. And as you can see, the response there is pretty significant. We don't know whether or not there are any other cars involved, uh, if anybody was injured, because as that driver was trying to get off of the highway, you saw them crash right into one of those uh, guardrail pylons there. And there were certainly other vehicles very, very close. So we're going to check and see if anybody else was injured here. Innocent bystanders who were really just in the wrong place at the wrong time as that crash came to a really scary end. It was disturbing to watch. It we was. took it to you live just as it was happening. We were bringing you a chase, which we've done before, but to see the crash moments after we came to you live during Good Morning America was definitely shocking. Uh, for those of you just turn, tuning in right this second, it's 810. I-95 southbound at Sterling Road is shut down. Do not take I-95 southbound. If you do take I-95 northbound, you will meet considerable delays in the Hollywood area as there are many people watching this happen. And we do know that crash uh, affected another vehicle, which you see right there. It seems like there may be three in total because that driver tried to take that Sterling Road exit so quickly, the driver cut off other vehicles and it caused a chain reaction crash. And that's when the car flipped and four suspects were removed from that vehicle. Here's your backups right now, Sky 10 panning out. So you can see southbound is not moving, northbound is going very slow. And it looks like we have an update. It was not Sterling Road that was the exit in question. It is Pembroke Road. This is very close to the local 10 newsroom and studios. And not very far. Uh, Pembroke Road, just one exit south of the Sterling Road exit there. And you can see again, there are several other vehicles that were involved. Um, they were just collateral damage in this suspect's wild attempt to get away. These four suspects were inside this vehicle. Uh, and hopefully none of those other people involved uh, were hurt 
at all. But you can see we saw that one woman sitting there uh, on the side of the road trying to process what she just lived through, what she was able to walk out of her vehicle and escape from. There is a pan and a, a, a broader look at some of the aftermath and there over on the right side of your screen you saw some law enforcement officers talking to that woman who was uh, able to get out safely and you can see two other vehicles here. Airbags are deployed, the front of those vehicles just destroyed but it looks like everybody got out of those situations safely. And we certainly hope that's the case as we get more information on exactly what happened here. It's gonna take some time to clean up this mess. A lot of vehicles involved, a lot of debris on the roadway. Important to note that we are covering this for you live as it happened. So we don't even know what caused that chase to begin with. So we're still working to get those details in the local 10 newsroom. And of course we have reporters that will be on that scene momentarily, but we do not know why police were chasing those four suspects in that SUV, which is flipped over right now. You see that the, the wall sky 10 was just focused on it a second now, a second ago. We do not know what caused that high speed chase and why those, um, those men were wanted to begin with. Here is your big picture of I-95 southbound right at Pembroke Road. Okay, so we're gonna have a Lexus here again in a moment to give you some alternates, but certainly the way that uh, we've been on this for maybe five or six or seven minutes, it's a busy morning rush hour. So if you're heading 95 southbound, you certainly wanna try and get off at uh, Sheridan or Sterling even, which is a little bit north of that, Griffin Road, if at all possible, which is farther north of this scene. So if you're heading uh, 95 southbound, or if you have any family or friend, friends or family members who are heading 95 southbound, you want to have them exit as soon as possible, certainly as they approach the, uh, the place where 595 and 95 uh, have that exchange there because traffic is going to start to get slow very quickly after that moment. If they can get over to 441, get over to US-1, even get over to the Florida Turnpike, you don't want to avoid this area for some time to come. Yeah, this is one of those scenes where it could be closed for hours because you have an investigation and you have uh, multiple accidents and you have debris cleanup. So. We would imagine it's not going to open for a while, but good alternates there. Griffin Road and 595 both get you around it. Here is a, a bigger picture because I think Sky 10 is trying to show you the northbound side is majorly affected as well. So we keep talking about the southbound side because that is the one that's shut down. You can see fire crews uh, arriving on the scene right now, but northbound is dramatically affected as well. And you're going to expect some extreme uh, backups just because people are watching what's happening on the southbound side. Yeah, a lot of curiosity delays certainly on the northbound side. And again, as Sky 10 zooms in, as it can process what happened, these are the cars that were not involved in the chase. These are the people who were just on their way about their regular Wednesday morning routines when they were caught right in the middle of just a terrifying situation. There is fire rescue arriving there. They're walking around some of these vehicles, trying to get an assessment on whether or not anybody inside those vehicles is injured. And we certainly hope that that's not the case. But as you can see, those first responders doing what they do best, processing exactly what is happening and trying to get to those who need that attention the most as quickly as possible. We've been on the air for almost 10 minutes, so we have the video ready for you. If you're just tuning in right now, we went ahead and recorded what happened live and producers say that video is ready. So if we can go ahead and roll it again, not ready. Okay, thought you guys said it was ready. Let's go ahead and wait until you do get it ready. We'll replay the scene for you right now about what happened. We came on the air and told you that there was a high-speed chase happening, and we did know multiple agencies were following an SUV, a dark SUV, which you see flipped over right there in the middle of your screen at the moment. And right when we took it live, it wasn't barely 30 seconds before we saw the driver make a beeline from the left lane all the way to the exit at Pembroke Road and then smashed right into that exit area. Roll over multiple times. Other vehicles were affected in a chain reaction crash as it really just crossed all lanes of traffic on I-95 southbound at Pembroke Road. And then that's when we saw two suspects immediately jump out of that vehicle. Here is the video. This is exactly what I was just replaying for you. Watch right there. That is what you saw live from Sky 10 right here on Local 10. And then as we keep watching this, you'll see two suspects immediately trying to escape. Police officers take them down and then they go back to that vehicle to see if there's anybody else inside and they remove two more suspects. We're still waiting to hear from our uh, news desk to find out what originated to make this chase be to begin with. We're still waiting to find out about that, but we do know four suspects in that vehicle flipped over on the top four suspects taken into custody. And there are the first two that were able to get out of that car immediately after uh, the wreck and then two more would be coaxed out by police 
not too long after that. And so we are still looking for a lot of information on exactly uh, what, what happened here and certainly who those individuals are and where all of this began. And we're going to get you those an answers. We have crews on the way to the scene right now looking for more information. But those four were very quickly taken into custody uh, after that, that crash. There was no attempt uh, to escape anymore. Those guys were stopped by those officers. And now a lot of questions remain. We're back to live pictures here. Uh, that is a vehicle that was getting away and is now upside down right in the middle of I-95 southbound. Again, this is just off of the Pembroke Road exit. That's where your major shutdowns are going to begin this morning. I wonder if it originated in Fort Lauderdale since we so see so many Fort Lauderdale police cruisers on yeah. the scene, but we know obviously this is not in Fort Lauderdale where it ended. Um, we can also tell you, uh, for those of you normally tuning in right now, to find out what your news, weather, and traffic is because we do have those cut-ins that we have during GMA. You're thinking, can I leave the house? Not if you're headed this way. I-95 southbound at Pembroke Road is shut down. We were just talking about, please do not take the I. Go ahead and take 441, take US-1, take the turnpike. It might take you out of your way today, but at least you'll get to your destination. You certainly will not get to your destination if you jump on I-95 southbound right near the Hollywood area uh, trying to get towards Miami. I-95 northbound, expect major delays as well. This is a scene that is not going to wrap up quickly. You see some of those first responders leaning into the back of that police cruiser as well. We're trying to figure out exactly what's happening here. We're going to work on this for you all throughout the morning. We'll bring you live updates here on the air. Always check in with us online at local10.com and all our social media feeds as well. Not only getting answers on exactly how this pursuit started, but certainly how it impacts the rest of your morning. We'll get you around any traffic trouble. Stick with us all throughout the day here at Local 10. We'll send you back to Good Morning America.